And today, the question is, how do I synchronize my web data using Puppet? Um, and really, you can generalize this to any sort of file content. So we have some sort of source of content um, that we want to synchronize to a client. Um, so what, what I do here is configure the rsync service using Puppet. Um, rsync is a standard um, server for moving large amounts of data efficiently from one computer to another. Um, so you're going to have Puppet configurations both for your rsync server and for your rsync client. Um, on this demo, I'm actually running them on the same machine, um, so you can see it all happening at once. So the first thing you'll need to do is configure your rsync server. This is where your data lives initially. Um, so we'll set up our sync there. As you can see, a whole bunch of stuff is happening here. Um, our sync configuration and server initialization um, is what this all comes down to. Once your server is configured, um, you're able to use the puppet our sync get resource on your client. Um, this is a resource uh, that guarantees your data um, will match whatever's in the rsync server. Um, so we can go ahead and apply our client manifest now. And as you can see, it creates a, our target directory and runs rsync. So now if we look at our target, we can see it exists and that the data is what it was from our source. And that is how you use Puppet to manage moving data from one computer to another.